Well guys, I would like to not feel them cutting into the right side of my body, okay? I don't want them to have wiggle room. No wiggle room. Hello landing crew, welcome to my C-section birth plan. Now I did one earlier in my pregnancy, it was my simple and natural birth plan and that is because I assumed I was going to have a vaginal delivery and I think a lot of women assume that, especially if you're a first time mom. For me, I had four vaginal deliveries so there wasn't any reason for me to believe that I needed a C-section and so my birth plan was really simple, really straightforward, no frills, no thrills kind of thing because I've been through it. There's a lot of things when you have a vaginal delivery that I took for granted and just automatically come with it. You push out a baby, the baby is put on you, you usually get immediate skin to skin, you can immediately start breastfeeding if you want. There's so many things that you just get to almost all hospitals do, so you don't have to worry about that. Well, this being my first C-section, I'm really just kind of nervous, scared, and I really want to do something to let them know, like, this is really what's important to me. Even though I am worried, I'm trying to plan, I'm scared, I'm still trying not to be high maintenance. Um, there's still a lot of things that I just don't really bother with one way or the other. So my plan is I'm going to print this out, and it is going to literally have a big house capital yes at the top of what I want and a big capital no of what I absolutely do not want. I will be handing it to my doctor. I will hand, be hand, handing it to labor and delivery as well as my husband. So if for whatever reason he's not with me or whatever, then he knows what my wishes are and he doesn't have to remember them because let's face it, he will not remember them. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get started on what I do want from my C-section. So for me, a big, big deal is I want immediate skin to skin if we can. I would like, while they're finishing sewing me up, I would like to have baby on my chest, skin to skin, under a blanket to keep him warm. And I would like to keep him with me as long as possible. And I would like to try to start breastfeeding within one to two hours. Now I've never had a C-section, so I don't know how many of these things are realistic or not. I have my doctor's appointment on Wednesday to first 100% confirm that I do need the c-section and then two to kind of iron out a few of the more important details one of the big things I don't want is to go three four five hours without seeing my baby after birth I will be a sobbing mess if that happens <laughs> First things first is I want anti-nausea in my IV. I am allergic to anesthesia, so I get violently ill and that is not going to be fun, so I would like for them to put extra Zofran. I don't want anything that's going to make me loopy or out of it or anything like that. Also, if I am too nervous, too freaked out, I would like to have some kind of anti-anxiety medication put into my IV as well, something that is not going to make me loopy just because I am really, really nervous <laughs> about this surgery. So if that's needed, I would like that as an option. Um, instead of an epidural, I would like a spinal block because I am deathly afraid. One of my biggest fears about the C-section and why it's really upsetting me to even think about is because of the fact that I have this big fear that I'm going to be able to feel them cut into me. In my epidural, when I had Alexander, my two-year-old son, it only worked on half of my body. Well, guys, I would like to not feel them cutting into the right side of my body, okay? I would like to have the screen lowered at delivery. I do not want a clear screen. I do not want to see what's going on. But of course, I do want to see Liam when he comes out and everything like that, just like I would if I was having a regular natural delivery. So that's really important to me. Um, it's also important for us to be able to do photography and obviously film, um, but only film myself and baby. So I'm not wanting to like film the procedure or anything like that. I just want to be able Able to obviously still have a birth vlog as much as I can. If they absolutely say no film, no, none whatsoever, um, then I would definitely like to at least have photography so I can have those memories and still have something to put in the vlog. I would still like to have Lonnie cut the umbilical cord and this kind of goes with the other, like the skin and skin contact, is, but I want the baby to stay with us like 24 seven. I don't want the baby to leave if for any reason the baby does have to leave, then I absolutely want Lonnie to go with him. So one of us or both of us is with him at all times. I do want the eye ointment and I also want the K-Shot. 
Um, I'm really not going to even respond to comments on on the whole vaccine or not vaccinating thing just because I'm guys I'm still kind of in not the correct headspace. I'll probably be fine this weekend or maybe after Liam's born but I'm not going to sit there and have conversations in the comments about it. There is a specific reason why we are going for eye ointment and case shots. We do have reasons behind it. Um, I do not now that we're going on to the no I do not want him to get the hep B vaccination. Um, again, I am not discussing vaccinations. I do plan on doing a video maybe later on um, in a month or two once I'm feeling better um, and I'll kind of talk about it more. Um, it's not that I don't want to talk about it with you guys. I've mentioned vaccines many times in my videos, but I'm just not in the right headspace right now. <laughs> okay, so more on to what I absolutely do not want. I do not want them to give him pacifiers, I do not want them to give him formula, and I do not want them to give him a bottle. Now, if, if for whatever reason, complications arise or something has to happen and he has to have formula, I'm not able to feed him for whatever reason, then obviously I can't help it, but I want it clear that formula and bottles and pacifiers, I would like them to not give that if possible. Of course, I'm not gonna say if possible on there because I feel like it gives them wiggle room and I don't want them to have wiggle room. No wiggle room. Um, I do not want them to give him a bath. We will bathe baby when we get home and I do not want them to circumcise him. So those are just kind of the things that I'm just like, absolutely not. I feel more passionately about the things I'm like no on than the things I'm on yes. So the yes things are a little bit more flexible but the no things I'm like, no. I know a lot of people talk about like wiping the vernix off or not. I would like it obviously like moisturize into his skin, but that's not that big of a deal. Everything else is just not that big of a deal, but I'm really big on I do not want him to have formula, to have a bottle. There should not be any reason on why they need to give him formula. Even if he has to be away from me for a couple hours, I know Alexander, he hardly ate the first 24 hours. He just didn't seem hungry and he didn't have a sucking reflex. So I just don't want them to try to force feed a bottle to him because they're under some notion that he is hungry. And then we start off our breastfeeding journey with already having issues because we probably are going to have problems even in the most perfect scenario. Even when I was going to have a natural delivery, we were probably gonna have a few complications because usually my kids are tongue tied and I've had a breast augmentation. So I'm trying to not create more issues. And that's part of the reason why I was so upset about having to have a C-section is because I'm really worried about like how it's going to affect our breastfeeding relationship. So we're just going to take it one step at a time. And I really hope that they're able to respect these. The most important things to me are obviously making sure that I have a spinal block and that I am numb before they go cutting into my stomach because guys, I'm really, really scared of that. But the next thing is I don't want to be apart from him for hours upon hours upon hours. Now I know that part my doctor has no control over. Once the C-section is done, he kind of just sews me up and is on his way. But um, I do want to reiterate to him, I do want to hold Liam as soon as possible and I do want to have skin on skin. Um, as much as I possibly can. Um, everything else, I guess I will just have to fight with the hospital about. I really wish that I would have done the hospital tour now. Um, it's really just, I have no idea what to expect. I've been watching videos. I've been, I've been trying to prepare myself, but you can only prepare yourself so much because every C-section is different. So I hope by having this simple birth plan or or maybe it's not simple maybe i am being a little ridiculous and if if you guys if any of these things i'm talking about if you think it's just absolutely ridiculous and i'm not going to be able to probably have that please leave it in the comments below so i can kind of prepare myself i do hope that it's not too over the top or anything like that my doctor's really chill and really laid back i mean he was going to just break my water instead of giving me pitocin and then you know let my body do that 
hopefully naturally than put me on a bunch of like different things and trying it out. So I do feel like he is pro natural delivery um, and I do trust him 100%. So hopefully it goes well. Go ahead and leave in the comments below if you feel like if, you, if you've had a C-section and you feel like I'm missing anything or you've watched this video and you've been like, Stephanie, this is the most high maintenance C-section birth plan I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> So definitely just let me know. Um, I know some things have nothing to do with the C-section as far as like the K shot and thing, things like that are just kind of standard after any delivery. But um, I think that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. We are almost down to six days and counting. By the time you guys see this, I don't even know when this is going to go up. But by the time you guys see this, we should um, be very, very close to having him as our C-section slash induction is for Monday, January 8th. So I'm getting excited, but thank you again for watching and we will see you guys next time. Bye.